Hello, welcome back. Today is going to be brake pipes. Um, they are quite labour intensive brake pipes, which is why garages can charge so much for them doing. Now off camera I have done a few, uh, but I've got the near side front one to do. But I'm going to cut that and make a new one to join onto the, the existing one. As it goes all the way top of, around the top of the bulkhead and the only bit that's corroded is the end bit. So I'm going to make a nice piece just so it looks nice and tidy. So these are the brake pipes that I've made already. The big long one is for the offside front which goes straight from the master cylinder to the brake hose. This one I believe is the near side front from the caliper to the hose and that's the offside front from the caliper to the hose. As you can see actually I'll show you the bits that I did notice it before the MLT so I did the old trick of cleaning it up and putting grease on it just to get it through. Can you focus in? So around the edges there, it is quite corroded. That's after I've cleaned it up as well. These were getting really scabby. So yeah, those are quite corroded, the little ones, and that one, that one was getting ready at the end. So I've got the flaring kit in the vise ready. I've also got a flaring kit that allows you to flare the steel brake pipes that's on the car. So that clamps onto the pipe. And then I always go option one because it's it's a lot easier than messing about with option two in case the brake pipe slips back. Then you've got to cut it off and start again. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've got the cutter. So I've cut it off, put a new union on, and then I'll make a new pipe in the garage. I do apologise for the wind noise. I've tried to get out the wind as much as I can. So I'm going to cut it about halfway, and then it gives me enough clearance to put the union on and to get the flaring tool in and then all I have to do then is just make this pipe here you can see there look where it's corroded uh, and that's just a bit of undercoat so while it's, while it's like it is I'm going to replace it quarter a turn every time you do a full rotation Oop, drop that. and that's it we're off so for option one you need a male union stick it up there out of the way and then on this flaring tool, there's a bolt that you screw in to its maximum, slacking these two off, and then it should slide on to the pipe. Like that. Just nip those up. 10 mil. That then clamps onto the pipe so it doesn't slide slide back when you put the flaring tool in. So now work that, take that out. I'll show you why that's needed now. So you can see on the camera. The little point here goes into the pipe and 
crushes it back and it makes a flared end. So a bit of grease around the threads. Screw it in. And these can be quite tight with the bin steel pipes. So good firm hold of it and tighten it up until it stops. Put that up there and I can see the pipes coming out. Which I think it is. It's just, I'm going to have to clean all the paint off it so it grips. So I've just cleaned the pipe up with a bit of Henry cloth uh, as when I was tightening up the flaring bit it was actually pushing the pipe out rather than crushing the end. I've cleaned it up, hopefully it'll grip now and uh, we'll try again. make the copper pipe. So all I've made the new pipes out of is copper brake pipe. You can buy this from any motor factors really and it's about 10-12 pounds for a roll. So this is all I've used. I use it on all car brake pipes. It's quite flexible, it's easy to bend, it's easy to flare. So I'm going to make this shape out of this, well first I'm going to put the flared end on, so it's a female end that I'm going to put on this side because this is the one that's connecting to the steel one on the car. So you need to do option one first and then option two second. So I've got the flaring tool in the vise and it works the same way as the one on the car. So put your union on first. So you get them roughly so it's just near the end, like that. And then, you put your tool in there and crimp away. So, to do option two, You've got to do option one first. So that's in line now. So clamp it down. Like that. I'll be able to show you better on this one actually. That is focus. That is option one. And that is option two. So you've got to do option one first. So stick that in. 
make sure it goes into the brake pipe and now have a quick look turn it around for option two and same again and then that that is the end result so you can see now the difference when that goes over the top so now it's just a case of making a replica pipe straighten that out a bit. so the easiest way I find to roughly look where the bend is Obviously, put the union up first. That's what we'll do. Put where the end is. Bring them out there. And bend. So that's a 90 degree angle. Or something like that. I always go slightly bigger. Because if you get it wrong, you can usually make up with it because the pipe's so soft. So you straighten that out so it's nice and straight. So you can follow it down then to there and again it's not quite 90 but it's near enough the other thing with copper pipe if you go too far you can just bend it back and again there so what I'm going to do now <coughs> excuse me is before I bend this pipe I'm gonna cut it so all I do that's where the bend oh, start again that's where the bend is put it up if you follow it along then you roughly know where you've got to cut it so there screw or something just to mark it So you can see the mark there, so I'm going to cut the pipe there, put the union on, flare the end and then make the rest of the pipe. So I've got the pipe cutter. Once you've cut it, there's usually a triangle in the end. Just bear it out a little bit. So, get the union. Stick the union on. Don't forget that, I've done that many a times where I've flared an end. I forgot to put the union on. So, same again with the tool, but this time, because it's a male union, you're only doing option one. Stick the pipe in to the end. And that's, let me just get you on the camera, that's the flared end of option one. So you've got the right length of pipe now. Right over. Push that to the end. So we're near enough there. 
once you get it lined up where you need to bend I always find it easier to put your thumb there and bend it round your thumb so that's that bit same again on this put what angle with that so it's not again it's not quite 90 degrees but it's near enough Sometimes it can be quite awkward. And there you go. One brand new brake pipe. Oh, I bent it there. Look. Straighten that out. And there you go, one brand new brake pipe. So the only thing left to do now is fit them all back on the Land Rover. So, new brake pipe, should be removed all the wiring that I've not connected up yet. That's the next job. So the new pipe, the original clamps are still here, so this should just go straight into those. One. So I'll just get them all on loose and then tighten them all up. So that's all the brake pipes on. See down the back there. Just joins up nice. And then from the hose to the, the caliper. This side. Same again with the caliper. Not touching any metal work. And then the one that goes up the bulkhead. Now that one did take a while to make. Uh, there's quite a lot of bends in it, so I'm sure you can understand why brake pipes take a long time. Um, but the end result is quite nice. So that's it for the front brake pipes. I'm not going to bleed them up yet because I've got another brake pipe to do on the back. Uh, I'm probably going to do that when I do the distant pads. Um, the reason being is because you've got to start bleeding at the near side rear brake caliper because that's the furthest away from the NASA cylinder. So because it's been empty for so long, it would need a full bleed anyway. So there's no point doing it because I've got to do the brake uh, brakes anyway. So that's it for this one. Next step is just put the pipes on put the plugs in, get the fuel through, put the all the oil in the gearbox transfer box and engine, uh, radiators on and then we can fire it up. So next one should be a good one. <laughs>